Harti Lele arī no ICCS no Indijas mums piedāvās šī kalendāra astroloģiskos nozīmes skaidrojumu. Yes, but I will not translate because translation yeah. will be there. I will. Uh, yeah. So if you follow what okay. was uh, okay. sent, then it will sure. be on the stream. So mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So first of all, I would like to say thank you for all Latvian people's support, organizers, sisters and brothers, and the dignitaries. Mēs es vēlētos pateikties visiem organizātoriem un plātašsošajiem, kas ir ieradušies uz šo sanāksmu. I wish to go. Es, the spirit, I believe, is one. Es, kā saku, uzskatu, ka gars ir vienots, un tas nāk no Dieva. Om svarūpāja namahā. Om Shri Gurave Namaha Om Shri Mahashakti Durga Yai Namaha Jnani Nama Pichetausi Devi Bhagavati Hisa Balada Krusha Mohaya Mahamaya Prayachati Sarvasvarupe Sarveshe Sarvashakti Samanvite Bhaye Vestrahino Devi Durge Devi Namastate Om Shanti 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 Namaste My topic is because of Peshwe, <laughs> my topic is very simple. I shall be focusing on a wing related with Indian calendar. Being practitioner, I have spent my some time with my patients uh, regarding with treating with the medicinal plants which have value related with nakshatra. Nakshatra means the constellations. When we visited yesterday to Riga, we saw on President building there is a big clock and it is uh, shown that it has got many uh, constellations. They also showed Varun and these constellations and the planets, they are very much related and they all have effect on human body. <coughs> So, na kinchit vidyate dravyam jagati eva anoshadam. There is not a single substance which has not a medicinal value. So, every substance is, has got a medicinal value according to Sanatan Dharma. So, in village, people used to take the herds, the cows and sheep, and they found out certain medicinal valuable. Uh, Vanaspati or plants and they used to use this to conquer the fever, the inflammations, to stop the pains, to stop the eggs, even to prevent the abortion or to create the abortions. Yes? And nakshatras have a particular nakshatra or constellation have a particular affinity with the plant. So, every one individual has a nakshatra, specific constellation, and that is attached with the plant. Nakshatra means naksharati tat nakshatram, which is very stable. Which is very stable and which can seen easily in the sky. Because it has a typical magical figure. And easy to say that they are uh, in practice 27 nakshatras or constellations. 
and they are uh, related with 12 groups of zodiac signs. Yes, and the moon and the zodiac sign and nakshatras, they are together. So mankind is a part of a nature. What is present in the nature? That is present in mankind. So we consider according to Ayurveda three energies. The energy of Vata, energy of Pitta and energy of Kapha. The Vata energy is considered as a wind which is mobile. Pitta energy is considered as a sun which has got the energy of transformation and Kapha is symbol of the moon. So Ayurveda has mentioned three main constitutions and the principle of Ayurveda is Vruddhis Samanai Sarvesha Viparitaihi Vipareya Like increases like and opposite decreases. So if a person has heart constitution we use cooling herbs or if a person has cold constitution we use the heating herbs. So the nakshatras the nine grahas or planets are also either having effect of either cold or hot. Hot or cold is governed by moon and sun. The effect of moon on our body is cooling while the effect of sun on our body is heating. For example, there are certain plants. The nakshatras, they 27 nakshatras are belongs to certain planets. You go to the next chart to avoid the, because you have this, yes. So these are the nakshatras, Krutika, Uttara Kalguni and Uttara Shada belongs to the sun. The Rohini, Hasta and Shravan belongs to the Moon. So this first three, they are having heating effect. The second one, they are belongs to Chandra. That is Moon. So they are having cooling effect. Muruga, Chitra and Dhanishta, they are having related with Mars. So they are again strong and hot effect on the body. While the Aslesha, Deshta and Revati, they are belongs to Mercury. So we use them for intelligence. Then the nakshatras for Jupiter we use to take blessings. Nakshatra for Shukra means Venus. Uh, suppose if a boyfriend would like to ask something uh, for the marriage to the girlfriend, uh, he should use the Venus, the Shukra nakshatra on particular day. So she will say yes definitely because Shukra is the deity of love while the Saturn is stands for uh, it's like an old man but it's also a judge. So in Marathi there is a saying that Shukra or uh, the Venus is a dimple and the Saturn is a wrinkle. So you can understand. Yes. So this way we take them in consideration for the work. To start a new business, we have to look the auspicious constellations. Now if we want to start a beauty business, you have to start it on Venus. If you want to, uh, if you are a judge, you can start your business definitely on Saturn because Saturn stands for judging, judgmental and sometimes he give punishment too. So this nakshatras, can you go ahead please? So the constellations are used since long time, ancient time for astrology. So, moon in the particular nakshatra, according to quality of nakshatra, it is used for proper suitable timing for 
marriages that I told uh, already. For marriages, to remove the negative energy, for traveling, uh, for prepare medicines, we use particular nakshatra. For prepare medicines, we use the uh, constellations of the sun. Or sometimes we use uh, <coughs> to prepare the medicine for the constellation of Mars because it is heating. But uh, on the other hand, if a person have a uh, hot constitution, then certainly we use the cooling nakshatras of moon. Okay, so these are the nakshatras. Can you go ahead please? These are the 27 nakshatras. Like Ashwini, Bharani, Krutika, Rohini, Mruva, Adra, Punarvasu, Pushcha, Ashlesha, Magha, Purva, Uttara, Hasta, Chitra, Swati, Vishakha, Anuradha, Jeshtha, Mula, Purva, Shara, Uttara, Shara, Shravan, Dhanishtha, Shatataraka, Purva, Bhadrapada, Uttara, Bhadrapada and Revati. And they have particular tree. Each nakshatra has a particular tree. It is written in this calendar. Each nakshatra has a attached with particular tree. And this tree we are using to give medicine, to prepare medicine. For example, the Ashwini nakshatra, the tree is Kuchla. Kuchla is Nakswamika. Do you know that? Nakswamika has action on our nervous system. Yes? So somebody has sometimes paralysis or not control on the bladder or the bowel movement, we should use this. Then Bharani have Amla. Amla is a fruit, Indian fruit. Uh, uh, it has got lot of vitamin C. If you eat 12 oranges, whatever vitamin C you will get, you will get if you eat one Amla is equal to 12 oranges. That much of vitamin C you will get. So, Adra Nakshatra or Adra constellation has the medicinal plant given Chandana. Chandana is the sandalwood which is very cooling. So for hot constitution we use the cooling because what is our principle? Principle is like increases like opposite decreases. Got it? So just we go ahead. Yes. So here I wish to tell you some stories. Because I am using this constellation for my patients. So I am going to tell you one case. One boy was 9 year old. He came to me for nocturia. Means he has no control on the urine at night. But in the morning he used to feel very embarrassed. What to do? So because his father was a very short tempered and angry person and who used to scold the boy for that event. So boy was having you know inferiority complex. To avoid this I told uh, not to eat cold things, not to have cold fruits like cucumber or watermelon, to cover the legs, to cover the head, to cover the ears, not to have lot of water before going to bathe. And then finally, of course, I asked him, which is your constellation? So he said that my constellation is Ashwini. So what is Ashwini? If you go to back of the chart, it has the medicinal plant is Kuchla. That is Nakswamika. So I gave him medicine like Vishat Hindu Kabati. And uh, boy was recovered within three months. No urine at night and the parents were very happy. Uh, the second client was 26 years female and she got pregnancy of 28 weeks. When she did her sonography, uh, she realized that the amniotic fluid is very less. Now this is a serious problem because in the womb, Baby is sitting like this position and he has swimming. He will swim in the amniotic fluid. He drink amniotic fluid and he make urine. So he drink, make urine. This is the cycle. When it is reduced, it's a serious matter because there are two, uh, you can guess two things. Either 
the 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 fetus has congenital problem or the the lady will deliver premature and then again he has to face because the surfix stunt from the lung the lung maturity is very less so he, you have to put the boy in the incubator and the immunity goes down and you know many things about that so to avoid these things i ask my client to take bed rest i gave panchamrut panchamrut is a uh, pancha means five and amrut is a nectar from heaven and it is known as milk uh, ghee yogurt sugar and honey and then i ask the nakshatra which was krutika and the medicinal plant is audumbar so again the same principle of ayurveda i use like increases like and opposite decreases and i gave this audumbar jala for that patient and i think she delivered after the 36 or 35 weeks a female baby and uh, she was not having any complications so this is the benefit without money see without money without any complication without side effects so i again go my head to the science or to the to the calendar the scholars they made like such calendar yeah i wish to show you just uh, present you one case um, and then uh, i will tell you little bit so client 4 um uh, the female was 30 year old and no she has got recurrent abortions and no history of rh incompatibility which is common cause of abortion no history of sexual transmitted diseases or anything uh, but she wasn't able to go to until the complete the pregnancy or to hold the pregnancy uh, up to only the 20 weeks so her nakshatra was vishakha now the meaning of vishakha is vishakha no branches so when we say that no branches the the children the the child birth Uh, she must be uh, uh, infertile probably the for the fertility uh, you have to have the blessing of guru or jupiter if the guru is giving blessing on panchama sthana in your horoscope then the uh, patient could be the fertile but then i get uh, i ask her nakshatra and uh, the aradya aradya vruksha of vishakha is nagakeshar what is nagakeshar nagakeshar you are well versed with saffron it's just like saffron and it has to eat with the butter or butter milk and 500 mg twice a day and other uh, restrictions i told not to move have complete bed rest i gave also falagruta and uh, guru upasana means chanting some mantras for the jupiter and uh, about treatment was given for my patient uh, from 8th week of pregnancy till 37th week of pregnancy she delivered a full term baby needless to say that she referred many clients to me so this is the uh, i think the benefits of constellation there are many things to tell you but to avoid uh, the time limits given by people i wish to stop i wish to show you this is our calendar those who have uh, interest they can come they can see and if you i will give you some time if you want to ask me some questions uh, i welcome your questions thank you very much for your patience here <laughs>